Your daily hour with me. Hey, hey, it's the program. Hey, hey here we are. Uh oh. The program's already stuck in just a freeze frame from yesterday at the beginning of the program. Wait, it's like this? No, no. There it is. Hey, there we are. Look, it's uh, Carson. Well, you have to get a mic, Carson. Nobody can hear you. Don't you know about that? You still don't know about that? Nobody, you think people can just hear you without a mic? You gotta look around for the mics. Carson's trying to say, talk without a mic. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the wrong mic. Try that mic. Yeah, try that one. All right. I'm talking into the mic. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See? All right, now, here we have a... We're going to do something a little bit different today. I am going to film a video. Wait, hold on. We can do that in a bit. Wait, it's your daily hour with me, everybody. So, uh, here we are. But I need to say, we need to say some things before we start off with this interview. That's what Carson's got today. Carson's doing... Uh, he's going to school... He's a, uh, edu becoming an educated man. He's gonna um, do some questions because he's doing. So he's trying to do. Uh, what, what is he gonna? Do? You're gonna do a documentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we had to pitch a documentary, and uh, it was almost unanimous that it should be on you. About so who? Are you, is there other people in the group or? Um. Yeah. There's uh. There's uh. Five people in the group. Yeah. We got uh, a 35 year old gentleman named uh, Dorian. Yes. Yeah. And. Is our production system. And so next quarter we will be making documentaries and So you're gonna come be coming back next quarter to to film the show and stuff and see what's going on or are you gonna do my other stuff too? You're gonna do you're gonna I mean it's gonna yeah. Pretty much. Uh, we're gonna if, if this if, if this interview goes well and they like it, we'll be back uh -huh. next, next quarter in a couple of months to uh, Talk about the, uh, you know, the Kenrick Ward radio show. And you're gonna follow. You're gonna follow me around doing the show, so. Yeah, we're on TV. I know, but it's it's gonna be a, a movie about TV. Yeah, Carson's doing his school work, but he isn't some kind of haze. He's supposed to be doing. He's supposed to be being educated right now, but I think he's in a dark haze right now. He's dark. Carson just got some kind of uh, some kind of rage, rage haze happening with him, within him right now. He's supposed to be doing something good for, for school. He's trying to expand his brain, but instead he lives his life in an emotionless insanity haze. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. So did you prepare some questions for your uh, thing there? We got a lot of voicemails today. Let's, uh, let's call Freddy, and then we'll check the voicemails, yeah? Yeah. All right. So I wonder how long, your, uh, how long you think your, your interview part is going to be. Um, it's supposed to be uh, 30 minutes to an hour, so I think we're... So, I mean, but this kind of counts as an interview, right? Um, not really, because I'm not asking you any questions. Oh, you're not asking any questions. So you have to ask, I mean, but I'm talking, that's what an interview really is, right? Yeah, yeah, it's you talking, so, uh, let's start off with the question. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. That, that call was insane. Insane. So, uh, uh, Kenny, where, uh, where were you born? That's, that's a stupid question. It has to be done. Yeah. Oh, hey, Freddie. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, it's the program. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. I'm teaching a class at TCTV, but I just, I said that as soon as I saw the call, I was like, hey, let's take a break. We've done enough work today. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, making time for the program. What's going on, guys? Carson? Sounds like you have someone else in the studio? Yeah, say hi, Carson. Yeah. Say hi. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Carson's trying to do an interview. Carson's doing a documentary about the program, but he's asking um, benign questions that nobody cares about. You, you're interviewing Carson about the program, no, Carson, finding out things that are important about? Carson is making a documentary about the program. And uh, oh, cool! So it's for school, but uh, he's asking me questions that aren't aren't important. Well, I mean, we need to get some background on who is Kenrick Ward. 
new backgrounds, is that what you said? He wants, uh, he wants a background. Well, all right, we can, we can talk about the program. I mean, we can start off there. Um, well, are, are, you, are you used to... Are we talking to Freddy right that's now? That's all right. I, I'm fine with the background. I, don't, I, was just, I thought that's what you said. It's really, it's, I, keep, I keep catching, like, every other word. Yeah. But. How's the production end going, Freddy? Going good. Yeah, I need to pick up some tapes from you today. Uh, but, I, yeah, everything's going smoothly. We're yeah. just rolling along. And I think uh, after after this next week, I'm going to put a new intro. Maybe there will even be a new intro on this episode. Oh, wow. That's, that will be interesting. Uh, the, I, I like the old intro, but it's been a while. I mean, it's been I guess it's been like 30 episodes or so. You know, I mean, it goes more than a season, but we do a lot of episodes, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's not so much because I think people might be getting tired of the intro, but just because it's fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. I, I like, like intros. Yeah, I do too. I yeah, that's that's a good one. Maybe I'll just make new ending intro, outro. Uh, so wait, did so you're being interviewed or you're interviewing? Well, I, I guess this, this technically I'm being interviewed right now because Carson said the interview needs to be an hour long, and I said let's just do the program, and that'll count as an interview. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I have to. I have to do an interview for school. So right now, film you're, video you're part of the interview, Freddie. You have yeah. To, I don't know. Yeah. Oh well, thanks for including me. That's wait, Freddie. Where where were you born? Let's try. Let's, I don't want to do that. I don't want to answer the questions about my past. Okay. 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 We'll focus more more on the present then. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to talk about, about the history the of the show because that's what the interview is about. So he's he's so. asking me questions about my personal life, and <laughs> about uh. What is the other thing? Uh, the show. Oh, and the show. So that's what he's gonna write about. Um. Yeah. Okay, Freddy. Well, I guess we'll uh, call or oh, check the voicemail. So thanks. All right. Cool. Hey. Uh. Wait. You. I was gonna say because you're being interviewed right now. Or there's an interview happening right now. It reminded me that uh, Dan Bennett is wanting to write a, a thing about the program in the new newsletter. So he. Is, I mean, you probably already talked to him. You probably said that already, right? Uh, I haven't heard about that. I guess we'll call him. Is he at the studio right now? Yeah, he, if you call in to the studio, uh, he's the only one here. I should probably get back to teaching my class anyway. So, um, wait, did you ask me a question? No, that's, that's okay. Teach your class. I'll call Dan. All right, cool. Sounds good. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so Kenny, uh, what made you want to start doing this program? Um, uh, one time, I was, uh, I I wanted to do a show, and I wanted to do a talk show, and that's that was my thought. And then I said I thought maybe I would do one of those things where I have a desk, you know, you where you have a desk and you wear a suit and you stand up there and you're like, hey everybody, and then you have jokes, and then after you have jokes, you sit, go sit down on the desk and then you have a thing. But I didn't have, I wasn't really capable of doing that very good. Right, I mean, uh, you do have a talk show every day. Oh, it started off as a radio talk show, right? I remember you were there. Yeah, that's no, the, I, was on, I, was real on, I was on the first couple episodes, but uh, why no opening monologue? Because, I think it's because of the radio thing, you know, since we started off as the radio program, you know, so. Yeah. I was, at first I thought it was going to be a radio show, and then I told I told somebody about it one day, and they're like, oh, you have, I heard you have a show, it's on TV, right? And I was like, no, it's on the radio, and they're like, oh, you should put it on TV. So I was like, okay, so then now it's just kind of a radio show, but it's on TV now, see? So, uh, uh, where, where, where is your TV show being broadcast? Uh, what channel, what station? <laughs> yeah, you have to ask all the stuff, and you can just, like, fill in the answers if you don't, if you know them, you know? Or is it? Are they gonna? Is your teacher gonna listen to the interview itself? Well, listen. This is an interview for people who have never seen the show, uh huh, or never heard of you. And I'm just trying to get. But they're gonna, but they're gonna have watched the show in the past. What you should do, you can just grab parts from the old episodes and and just and sh you can answer my questions through that way. On the ones that you already know, you know the answers to these questions. Why don't right. you tell me the answer? To well, I mean, it's on TCTV. Yes. And it was on. Your website, KenrickWard.co.cc? Kendrick Ward. Kendrick Ward. Yeah. And YouTube, you can go check it out at YouTube. It's on YouTube as well, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or you can go to dailyhour.tumblr.com 
or you can call into the program. The number here is uh, Ed Zero Lend ADA. Let's see if we have a sign. I thought I, I made a sign yesterday, but I might have lost. I might have lost to the sign. Is it behind the couch? No, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's gone. I'm gonna have to make a new sign. What happened to that pen? Uh, it's. My, uh, you had the pen. Um, I had the pen. Oh, there's a pen. Andy gave me this pen. We have to return it to him. When oh, this is a fancy looking pen. Um, okay, so what, what was your question? Well, I was just asking, uh, so, so what television channel is your show being broadcast on, and how did you get involved with them? We're on KCTV, and uh, my friend Freddie there, he works there, and he, uh, uh, the first for the first couple episodes, I was like, I'm not sure how this is going to get on TV. You remember that? Yeah. And I, w I was just taping them for no reason. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have any way to get these tapes on, on TV or on the internet. But then um, uh, Freddie said, I, c I can put them on TV. And then he did. Right. Um, back when you had a radio show, uh, what was the initial uh, setup you had for recording it? Like uh, the, 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 with the headphones? Is that, what is that what you're trying to get at? I mean, yeah. I mean, just uh, describe what. When we started off the program, we were speaking into headphones, and uh, we all we had a karaoke machine and headphones, and we were talking into headphones and recording it onto an audio tape. And then after that, we've been trying to do technical upgrades. So throughout the show, we've technically upgraded to the point where we have videos and and this kind of thing. So now we can do this. That's the big technical upgrade, and then we can do this. And we have the mixer and microphones and cameras and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, go into the past. I mean, you can. Are you seen going into the past? Uh, what are you doing right now? You're plugging in a VHS tape, right? This is <laughs> We're going into the past. Are you gonna use the audio from the TV episode on your interview? Well, yeah. Uh, well, for the documentary, yes, but for the audio, it's just me asking you questions. Well, you, or the, but this could go into the documentary, but you could put this. See, but you already have so much footage. I don't know why your TV... You see, you're show, can you show the camera? Or you don't want to move it? Um, I'm recording this interview on uh, this Sony camera right here. It's on high 8. Even though it's a show, he still wants to record the show again. Um, it's on the Sony Infolithus system. What? Info something. All right, and we're recording again. Hey, did you did you stop recording? Well, when I when I moved the camera, the the wire got unplugged. So uh, so Kenny uh, people have been wanting to know the ocean noises. What? They come from the ocean. Why do you think it's important? for people to feel the ocean noises on your show? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I watch uh, regular shows and I think, wow, that's real quiet on that show. You know, too, maybe it's too quiet. And the radio, the ocean noises, they, they make me feel good. So then when I do the show, I have a good, I have a good vibe. I feel the good vibes. Like it's a, a relaxing kind of noise. Yep. All right. Um, you have you have a lot of equipment here. Um, you got a mixer, you got a video switcher, you got a, a VCR. Uh, where 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 did you get all these? I acquired them at different different places. I mean, like where did you get the mixer? I bought I bought it off. I bought this stuff for cheap from people who had things, and they're like, "Hey, do you want this thing? I know that you could do it." And then. I, uh, I had all the equipment already. I had almost, yeah, I had all the stuff already. I just had it just from doing other th things. And then I was like, maybe I should use all my stuff and put it together for a show. Right, I mean, but, like, who gave you the mixer? Like, was it was it a friend? Was it uh, yeah, friends. I got it, I got them all from friends. I got some of the cameras from Craigslist. Uh, if you look, go back to the, the, the second, or the first video day I'm talking about, this you should go back to this for your documentary, you know. But for the first on the first day, we only had one camera, and then we switched them to two. See, if you just go back and watch the show, 
you can know all this stuff because we do all the show stuff on the show itself. So every time we get a new piece of equipment, it's all talked about on the show. So if you go back and listen to the radio days, and uh, I mean, you, this is your whole class. There's five of you, right? You guys uh, could watch all the episodes. You might have to. I mean, that's the only way to do a really good documentary about the program. There's only a hundred or so of them. I mean, I'm probably going to have to be uh, watching all the shows. But anyway, like, uh, we, we want a little bit of background on Henrik Ward. So uh, you went to at college at Evergreen, right? Uh, th- yeah. You you, could, just, you should go back and watch the old episodes to get all this stuff. I mean, I guess it's, you're, I don't I don't know why you're, uh, why you want to do the on the on the on the program. You wanted me to do it on the program. Oh well, yeah, but but like, you could just watch the old episodes. Is the thing the thing is about the program, right? So 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 all all your personal information up on the internet. Yeah, it's all on the internet. I have a website. You go to chemicore.co.cc and I've got a section in there It says about me and it's got all that stuff. Those are my like stats, you know? Nobody cares about this. I don't need to say this, like your statistical information on the thing. Okay, well let's let's move into the future. What where do you plan on taking your daily hour? Well, we're, we're moving in the direction that is uh, the correct direction. I mean, but as long as we get the show done, then it moves into the future. And, you know, the more episodes we have, the more the next episode is an event, even if we're just doing the same thing. So we're uh, doing, we're doing uh, fine, and we're moving through time in a forward fashion. I think we're going to just uh, continue with it as, as it's going. Right. And uh, so you have your team. It's an hour every day. How many... How many emails do you think you get a day? Well, today we got one, two, three, six. But those are voicemails. We get voicemails. Well, actually, I've never gotten any emails. Nobody has sent me a single email. Maybe you guys want to send an email. Uh, you can go to it's your daily hour with me at gmail.com. And you can do that. Let's check this voicemail. We got a voicemail from Sean Downey. Do you, do you, do you know this person? Yep. Sean Downey? Hey there, Kenny. What you doing, Kenny? I don't really like the way you're listen, talking to me, listen, Kenny. Listen. Hey there, Kenny. What you doing, Kenny? I don't really like the way you're talking to me, Kenny. That was a weird voicemail. Yeah, that was. Um, let's see, what do, what do we have next? Hey, Kenny. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, and Dan Doble left a message. This is a good. One. This will be a good one. Oh, he left a long one. Hi, uh, this is Dan Dubler. Uh, this is Dan Dubler. Uh, I'm sorry that, that I, I've had enough uh, of time on your show and to say what I need my mind to say. But for right now, I, I've decided that I, I, I'm no longer, the, no longer going to be on the program. For right now, anyway. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm not be on the program anymore. Uh, for right now. Uh, you can call me and, and you know, talk to me, but uh, I've decided that uh, it's a final decision. Uh, I've decided that for right now not to be on the program anymore. Bye. Uh, uh, Kenny, who was that? That was Dan Doubler. Dan Doubler has been on the program a bunch of times. He came he came in every week for like four weeks, which is a pretty good streak. So he said he's not going to be on the program anymore, but he'll maybe he'll be back in a long time. He'll probably just be more sporadic like everybody so, else. So, 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 so how, would, how, how would you describe Dan Doubler? I don't know, he's, he's a good guy. You watch the episode, you watch the old episode. Um, I want to I wanna keep checking the messages, I guess. Hi, your daily hour with me. This is Dan Drew and Paul John Rogadoy. And we just want to say we're big fans, love what you're doing and where yeah, you're going Drew. with this. And, uh, you know, I want to shout out to, you know, all the uh, noise charlatans in the room. Raise your hands. Woo! Oh, maybe, yeah. Is that Pippin? I don't know. That was Dandrew, though, but we can call Dandrew back. So Dan, uh, Dan Dubler is on the program. You can watch me. He was on like last week, so that's a, not too long of a, uh, so, a program ago. So Kenny, I've noticed. Oh, this was a long one. Okay. So yes. Uh, you've been calling a lot of people on your show. How how exactly do you do that? We use Google Voice. 
Google Voice. Yep. And you have the computer hooked up. I got the computer hooked up to the mixer, and it goes into the thing. See, this stuff, everybody, <laughs> I think everybody on the program, you should know this stuff. I guess the people are going to watch a documentary. They're going to watch the documentary and then they'll see it. I mean, there's people that haven't what? seen your show. Wait, some, yeah, Peanut Gallery. People are talking, talking to the Peanut Gallery. Uh, you want to say hi on the program? Peanut Gallery? Or you want to say hi on the program? Hey, Kenny, you should probably uh, mix with the... Uh, get on the switcher, man. It's an interview, so he has to ask you questions. Obviously, he knows how your show works, but like he still has to ask you questions because it's his assignment. So, I'm sure there'll be plenty of like footage from your actual show when he does the documentary. Yeah, this is. A, I don't know where all the mics are hooked up into right now. I'm trying to get more stuff going. Yeah. Say thank you to Janan. She just like covered your ass royally, Carson. Oh, Carson, yeah. You're doing a really piss poor interview here. Carson, come on, yeah, you can do better. Carson, right, that's uh, why he, Carson's trying to get his education though right now. That's why he's learning how to do this. I do this every day, Carson. You need to learn how to interview somebody. It's a really like the premise of the show is every day you turn on the machines and then you start talking and then you go for the whole hour and you don't stop talking the whole hour. Because if you do, it would be a nothing show, it not a talk show. It wouldn't be a daily hour with me. So. Nope. So, anyway, uh, this like, this I'm trying to get some background information on Kenrick Ward. And he was the born and raised in Olympia, Washington, actually in Lacey. He's lived here his whole life, and he's an evergreen graduate. All right. Uh, what did you major in? Um, a Bachelor of Arts. Of Arts. They don't have majors. Majors. They don't, have, we don't. We don't do majors. Yeah, we're beyond majors. Well, that's pretty minor. What? Um, but uh, <laughs> Carson is um, insulting the person he's interviewing for school. So that's really. I think that's a good. Uh, that's a good inter interview technique. Yeah, Kenny. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, you guys. Are, that's you know. That's that's the. Um, those kind of words put possession on people, you know? Um, Kenny's past that stage we're of past our society, these man. We're past societal boundaries like that. Well, I mean... That's the answer. Do you, do you have a pet? <laughs> maybe maybe like a cat or something? You know, like if you if you interviewed... Uh, like, yeah, you, have you ever seen like Conan? Or anything. O'Brien or, or the Barbarian? Like, like, like O'Brien. Like, if you ask, you don't ask people these kind of things, you know, they go on the thing, and then that's how interviews work, you know. That's, I think maybe. Well, usually people give answers. To, not to these kind of questions, though. These are the kind of questions people ask about on, on an interview. Like, these are like, these are like grade school interview questions, Carson. You need to be moving on from that. You're in college now. You need to think of some better interview questions. You're other in college than where I was now? born. Yeah, he's doing yeah. the documentary for college. Oh, this whoa. This is an assignment. I think you're like seventh yeah. grade at the most. But right on, man. I mean, it's the haircut. Carson's doing something that is uh, for yeah. He he's not doing this because he wants to. He's being forced by education. Uh, this is like somebody somebody told him to do it. For some strange reason, the people in my class thought Kendrick or a Daily Hour with me would be an excellent documentary. The people in your class are like, oh yeah, they get. Like, I did. A, yeah, they they're they're being told what to do. And this is what Carson's doing now. So I mean, it was up for a vote, vote, and apparently you but won. So I think, I'm down I here think in even Olympia in your class, you. in your class, and in the documentary, it would be more interesting to them if I if you didn't talk about these kind of things. Like when I'm not answering questions, I'm not just like not answering them. I'm trying to help your documentary be more interesting. You know. All right, Kenny. Yeah. If there was one thing you'd have to say, if there's one people. There's, there's one, one people, Kenny. What are those Carson people? Carson is in what a haze. I don't people? know why I'm letting him talk so much. You're in a, haze, in a dark haze, but yes? Yes? No. I mean, if there's one thing people should remember you by, um, what do you think people would think you'd think that it was? The, the program. This program particularly? This yes. Is, this is your crowning moment. Yes. Oh, this one. This moment right now. Uh, remember, remember this. Um, or maybe this moment. Oh, what the? 
this moment right now. <laughs> That's the moment. I want you guys to remember me like that. I mean, there it is. But that's us talking. Um, but that, but that aside. So, uh, other than this show, is there any other artistic endeavors that you've ventured upon? Um, no. Um, you haven't. Oh, the what, music. Any, you haven't made new music you have yeah music. you can go you can go to my rep what my website it's kenrickward.co.cc and i've got a bunch of music on there and a bunch of uh there's other things on there and that's where it's where all my other well, stuff is what kind of music is it i try to do a lot of stuff like is it is it rap is it pop is it yeah maybe i'll talk tell you the answers to your, these questions later after, after the program is over. But I want to leave voicemails. Maybe we'll get to it. We still have about 25 or 35 minutes left. So let's see if well, we get how, to how long have Hi, I been asking your daily hour with me? What? So how long have I been talking to you? 26 minutes. Okay, well, we got four minutes left, and then I uh, can take only, my leave. You're only going to do four more minutes? Gotta be 30 minutes. To That's all it's required for for class. So you gonna turn this in? You gonna turn the tape in? No, not the tape. I'm gonna I'm gonna type up my questions and your answers. Oh, during the whole first time, you gonna type up the messages and stuff too? I think I might have to. <laughs> okay. Um, Xavier, Excelsior, uh, carbohydrates, um, super Newsome phone. Hey, good luck spelling that, Carson. <laughs> you gonna write that down? <laughs> I got, 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 choo, 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 choo. Aye, aye, aye. I want to see that, that, that Carson's gonna write that down later. I want to look at your paper. I mean, I can, I can just put some sort of descriptive adjective inside of some parentheses. And I don't have to spell any. Okay. Uh. What's the what's the question? Music. So you're not gonna uh, try to answer any questions after the program. You're just gonna wait for the. Well, I mean, you're obviously not being that cooperative. I'm just trying to make your documentary any more interesting. But we still have we still have 30 well, this, minutes. This isn't for the actual documentary. This is just for the preliminary, uh, you know, pitch for the documentary. I needed to interview the person that I was gonna do the documentary on, and so I needed to get some background information we didn't have to well i'm really i'm uh, i do music production and i uh, do uh, all the genres of music you know i think i can do them all and i've done them all there so that's a um what kind of instruments do you usually play i can play guitar and keyboards and stuff that's and do the, uh, the percussion instruments yeah you know all around things maybe not the winds not so much winds right uh, but probably other things anything else I mean, do you, do you own a guitar? Do you use that? Yep. I mean, obviously on your theme song, you do use it. I did, I wrote the theme song. Um, so, your theme song. Uh, tell me about how you made that. One time, I, uh, I wanted to get a theme song for the program, and then I thought, I thought of what the theme song should be. And then I recorded that. Oh, that's good. Um, uh huh. Mm -hmm. You have more questions now, or are you gonna? This is the message. You done with the interview? You only have two minutes left. You're All not right, gonna stick around for the program, left, though. So, You're not gonna uh, stick around for the second half. So Kenny, um, I watched a video of you when you were younger. You had longer hair. What What made you decide to trim it down? What video did you see? Taft. Oh, you? where did you see that? On a VHS. What? Where? Here? Yeah. You gotta find that tape. I didn't even know it still exists. Well it, well, it does. And you're on it. And you have long hair. That was my old TV show. Well, it was half Taft, half Damn It, This Is Stupid. Oh, Damn It, This Is Stupid is a good show, too. They're on TCTV. I don't know if you guys out there, you remember your old TCTV people, but I used to watch Damn It, This Is Stupid all the time on TCTV. They're they're uh they're good people there on that show. I met them once and that was pretty weird. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that tape is somewhere around here. It might be over by the TVs. Well, we should find it. Was it labeled? Yeah, it just said Taft on it. Oh, it did? What? We gotta yeah. find that tape. Yeah. I watched it twice. Why did you cut your hair? <laughs> no, um... You know, the other thing is stuff people would answer on TV, you know, on that time. Who would... So What's with your hair? Are the, I, I mean, I mean, doing this, story like, doing this TV show right now, but like, are you gonna, are you working on anything right now, or are you planning on a new project? <laughs> uh, I don't know, the show's pretty much it. I think the sun's going down. You see this? <laughs> Remember that moment? Um, this is pretty much this is my main my, my main gig right now. I'm trying to get the um, I'm trying to get sponsorship. See if anybody else will sponsor me. I mean, how long are you gonna do this show? Uh, I don't. There's no ending point, in, so the show is gonna go on forever. Right, and it's just gonna keep getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better all the time, and we're getting technical upgrades and stuff like that, and we're gonna get sponsorship moving forward. Time. Right. I mean, local access. Next up, basic cable, right? It's a cable, or um, I want to try to get to other cable stations, like other public access stations. I'm not really trying to do that. Um, now, now you live at the Stump House. Is, is is there one experience from living here that really stood out to you? Uh, now I want to listen to these messages. I think that my favorite thing about the show, the house here, is the show. We've been doing the show. It's been in the house. But it's a studio, so I built a studio in the house, so part studio, part house. All right, well, uh, Kenny, uh, looks like uh, the interview will be concluded. All right. I'm going to stop recording. You're going to stop recording on your machine? All right, and uh, how long does the show have till it's over? We have about 20 mi- 20, 29 minutes still, so. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave you to your show. Hi, your daily hour with me. This is Danger. So Danger, which one was that? Oh hi. Hey. Well, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a little bit. If you want me back on the show, feel free to call. I think I have all I need. He's uh, was using me. Carson was using me in the first half of the program for the documentary. So when are you gonna come back? When are you coming back for the ne- for the next part? So someday there'll be extra campus, even though the show's already on TV. Uh, Carson's gonna come back to do extra stuff. Well, I'm going to be coming back next quarter, so maybe in two or three months. Two or three months? Yeah. Are you guys going to be calling me in the, in the meantime? Have your group call the show. Oh, yeah. No, no. I already sent them onto the website, and... They're looking they, at it? They're really interested in your story, Kenny, but I don't know if they're going to be watching it, because it's in Seattle, and they don't get... They can watch it on YouTube. That's true. I will, I they should start watching. If they're going to do a documentary about the program, they got to start watching the program. They know what's going on. If they watch it for long enough, they figure it out anyway. You guys got to go. You have to go watch the old episodes. There's not too many of them, but that's like going to be an essential part of, of, of a documentary about the program. That's the only way you can do it is if you uh, if you go through and find out what happened. Right. So I'll tell them to watch it on the internet. Yeah. Tell them to watch the internet. You can you can watch all the old episodes. Go to tumblr.com, dailyhour.tumblr.com for the videos and uh, uh, camrecord.co.cc for the audio. So they have a lot of going. I mean, we're on uh, episode 120 something. That's only like four or five days really of, of, of watching. So that's not that long for like an entire documentary. Right? I think you can watch the whole thing in that amount of time, right? Yeah, of course. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to take a quick break right here. I might be back right now. Well, make sure you, uh, yeah, do the thing there, so, oh, what the, hopefully, yeah, I guess the, the, the documentary crew does a good job, and, uh, they don't make me look bad or something, that would be weird, that would be weird, I don't know if that could happen, uh, so I guess we're gonna check, keep checking the voicemails, we got about, what happened to the, uh, keyboard, I don't know. Here we go, we're going to Google Voice. Wait, what? Yeah, 
What? Okay, that's D'Andrew. D'Andrew, yeah, we listen to that one. Don't know where on this one. Hey, Kenny, it's Ian Pico calling from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, I've been enjoying your show. I just finished the Laser Zeppelin album. Um, or not the album, but the, uh, the episode, rather. Um, it's really good. I really like the choppy effect that you have um, that you can employ. Uh, sorry I haven't picked up your calls. I know you've been trying to call me. I just, I don't like picking up my phone, really. Um, and, uh, I don't know. It seems like you were always calling at inopportune times. So I didn't pick up. But, uh, I just wanted to call in because I wanted to leave a message. I wanted to leave a song message for, um, for Mark. Um, uh, maybe you could play on the show. Uh, and uh, maybe Mark will see it. I don't know if your machine will cut me off, but I'm just going to play the song um, for him. <clears throat> I'm just on speaker pump, but I don't know if you can hear any of this. Uh, this is Trying the Night by Ted Curlis. Oh, oh, China Night. We love the music message. The moon and flickering stars Ooh. Like a dream so soft Ooh. and sweet Ooh. Lovers romancing everywhere mm. Arbor light sparkling to the Look beat the of city. my yearning heart It's love, it's life the China sky. Ooh, softly playing songs of places. You guys got a long song, yeah. The dreams of China. Who wants to do this on the background? Yeah, that was supposed to be the main thing. That's a pretty good song. If you don't have the second message, which is just more of the same song, it's like, hey, I got cut off. Jeez. Oh, wait, he's, <laughs> he's going to finish the song later on. I guess I'll... I don't know. She not know. I guess that this message, the song's like five minutes long. This message is three minutes long by itself. I don't know, the second message is 2.30, so... The voice is long. Or the voice mail is long. That's it. See, so he got rid of Carson. And he got rid of himself. <laughs> he was asking crazy questions. I don't know, his documentary crew. Somebody told me outside that he's really sensitive. He's really sensitive? Yeah. Oh, I think he, I mean, he's just in a dark haze all the time. If he's really sensitive, then he has a trouble expressing what he's feeling on his face. Because he kind of just went like this. The, it was just kind of straight face and kind of in a haze. So if he's really sensitive, maybe he should uh, try to, like, uh, stay home. Hide. <laughs> I don't know, if you're scared to leave the house and you're sensitive about that kind of thing, you know, look out, trying to do a documentary. You gotta, you're trying to get, get some bolder things. I think he's just in a haze. I don't know who's... Maybe, I think whoever's talking to him is confusing, is confusing a haze with being sensitive. Carson's not sensitive. He's just in a, in a wild rage. He's just in rage, totally in rage. Rage state. Yeah. He's just in some kind of total rage state. He's in like a primal rage. So oh, I think I did something bad. Uh oh, yeah. What's that? Is uh, that I heard like a, is like a hum. You hear that? Yeah. Well, I kind of want to. I guess we'll check the second half of this guy's message. Hey, it's me again. Uh, your machine cut me off in the middle of the song, so I'm just gonna finish <laughs> it. <clears throat> Where was I? Uh, oh, ah. Uh, uh, this guy's a laser Zeppelin fan. So now we're getting over the country. Country. Oh, 
Yeah. That's what they say about country singers. Let them run it. They're like a... Like is, that, is that the text of what it thinks the song is? Yeah. That's so cool. It was, hey, for that he saw he, her hey soft baby. Her didn't Barclay, so if you're ready, then say hey. So I'll talk to Mark. Hope you enjoyed it. Mark and you can call me. Oh, that's not the song. Breathing long for the love, oh. sailing just on water from the shores of home. On the shores of home. Love. I don't know where it is. For the time being, his heart softly breathing. Words. You can call. So he, this guy, is trying to call oh, Mark. Sorry, uh, yep. Dream. All right, so now the instrumental part. That's a pretty good message, though. Yeah, that's, that's that. nice. I like that. That was a song from Mark. Well, Mark. Hope you enjoy it, Mark. Um, Kenny, you can call me. I might pick up, but I might not. Um, okay. Maybe we can schedule like a <clears throat> like a Skype in interview. Yeah, I don't use Skype Sometime anymore. Uh, I don't know if you have that kind of technology. I don't. But uh, uh, yeah, you can. You know my number, I think. Um, so, uh, hope yep. you have a good episode. Let's call and, it back. Uh, he I'll said talk that to you soon, buddy. He Bye. did say he doesn't answer. Often. But before he does this time, here we go. You know, I haven't called any McDonald's today. You got still got 18 minutes. Yep. We'll just call a couple. I wonder if Car Carson's documentary is going to be so dumb because if we do the show every day, what else is he going to do on the documentary? Like, Hello? Hey, Ian? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, wait, I'm unplugged. It's unplugged. Whoops, that's what I did. Here it is. It's not it. It's this, it's this one. I feel dumb. I feel very dumb. I'm not kidding. Here we go. Sorry, well, Kenny. That's okay. Say sorry to Ian. Sorry, Ian. Hopefully we can get him back on the phone and I can say sorry. Because he said that he doesn't have to answer, but here we go. <sighs> so now it should be working. Now they, he, sh they should be able to hear us. Hello? Hello, Ian? Hello. Hey. Hear anything. Hey, it's the program. Oh, hey, Kenny. Hey, 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 man. I uh, kicked the computer and the thing came unplugged, so that's why the last call didn't work. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Hey, that was a good song, Ian. We listened to your song. Did you did you play my my message on the on the show? Yeah, we played it just before we called you, and now we're calling you afterwards to do maybe some kind of post song thing. Cool. Yes. So, have you you've been watching the program? You've uh, you seen the Lasers Up episode? Do you watch any other episodes? Yeah, I've been watching a couple episodes. I uh, particularly enjoyed the the uh, Laser Zeppelin yes. episode. You you do the, 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 the what? You did the same kind of music. Maybe under you're sending it back. So. I was saying that maybe we're getting a we're gonna start getting country overload on the program after get you and Laser Zeppelin singing the songs. But well, that's a good song message. Nobody's done that before. Yeah, I don't I don't know what she just said, but uh, I could probably uh, agree with it. Good. Um, Ian, how's uh, McDonald's doing in Oklahoma? Uh, Oklahoma's cool. I don't know. I just uh, moved back. I guess it's been almost two years now, a year and a half or something like that. 
Um, I, uh, I work at a coffee roastery, and I'm roasting coffee. A roastery? Then, uh, yeah, that's about all, we, about all I do is work. And uh, I don't know, I play some music once in a while, but uh, I don't know, as far as theater stuff goes, I haven't really done anything too exciting, so it's just kind of been boring. But it's good, I got a girlfriend, she's really nice. And uh, I live in a house. I got a dog. Uh, he's That's an old dog. Funny. I rescued. I rescued him from the uh, from the from the streets. Oh wow! And uh, he, yeah, he's been cool. He's uh, he's been Sweet. shitting in the in the in my roommate's room though. So I don't know what that's all about. I think he ate a bad bone. From the streets. But, um, how how did yeah. he, how how old was the dog when you found him on the streets? How do you, was he not somebody else's dog? Uh, he was, he was what was that about the dog? Lone, he was a lone dog. I mean, I couldn't. I didn't I, understand I you. Know. You sound like a robot. Hey, Why do you always sound uh, like a robot on your television show? We, um, it's it's because we're on the internet. We do the internet phone. Oh, so they haven't made the internet fast enough? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's slower than for it to be. Hey, do you have the possibility, like, could I, like, one episode, like, Skype in on the computer? Yeah, it would And you video? could, like, have a, you could have, like, a split screen and, like, uh, you know, we could do it, like, via satellite like they used to? Yeah, we could do that. We would have to do that. I'd have to plan that out. I don't use Skype anymore. I use, I use Gmail. But if you were to call into the, the show or if you wanted to figure out, we could plan a thing. And then you could show All up, right. and then we could you could call, and then I would have to open up the Skype, and we could do that, and that would be a little that would All be right. a, a thing, but we could do that. That sounds cool. Well, I'll I'll do that. I'll get a hold of you soon, and we'll try it out. All right. But, uh, I just showed up at a party. I gotta go to. So. Right. Uh, what time is it over there? It was good talking to you. What time is it? I hope it? you enjoyed the song. What, what time is it? Yeah. It's uh it's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Oh, all right. Okay. Bye bye. Right, see ya. It's uh, only 5 o'clock here. Hey, you guys want to say hi on the show? No? Hi, hi, show. Hey, program. How's it going? This is Davey, uh, the ghost of Davey. You can't see me right now. Um, my, uh, I, I spent a lot of energy last night, so my operating power is limited to strictly audio. Uh, but I'm here in spirit. Uh, it's nice to see you all. All right. Um, we're gonna call Tulsa, Oklahoma, McDonald's, because that's where Ian lives, and we're gonna see how they do. See how the McDonald's are on Ian. Right. Say, hey, do you know Ian? Do you guys know Ian? They probably won't. So let's see. Save. Save. Uh, Forty percent at McDonald's. Can I help you? All right, McDonald's. Huh? Hey, hello, McDonald's? No, it's a McDonald's. Yes, McDonald's? Hello? Hello, hey, do you guys have... Hello? Uh, uh, hello, can you hear me? I don't understand, what do you say? Can you hear me? Uh-oh. So... I'm gonna try to save. I'm trying to save these messages. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. It gets kind of confusing. Oh, we got another. Wait, it's Saturday. Is that a text? Hi, uh, this is Dan Dubler. Uh, this is Dan Dubler. Uh, I'm sorry that I've had enough uh, time on your show, and to say what I need my mind to say. And for right now, I, I've decided that I, I, I'm no longer, the, no longer going to be on your program. For right now, anyway. Uh, I'm sorry that not, not be. That's too bad, Dan. So let's call Sean.
Are we gonna try? Hey. Hey, Sean. It's the program. Hey, program. How's it going? We're doing good. It's today is a Saturday, so are you, are you gonna we're calling to see you're gonna be on tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm gonna see you maybe later since today is Saturday. I wanted to remind the program. Yes, Saturday. Um. Yeah. What? Well, uh, who's on the show today? We don't have any guests. Earlier, we had Carson on. Carson's doing a documentary about the program, which I think is kind of, uh, kind of weird because the program is kind of a documentary about itself, really. You know, so they're gonna—he's gonna try to do that. I don't know why. You got a, a documentary? Carson is is in in school and he wants to do a documentary about the program. When the, yeah. pro the program is already a documentary about itself, but he's gonna do another documentary on top of that. Mm. I would like to be on the show tomorrow. Um, I'm very compact and lightweight. I have accommodations. I'm adjustable, fully extended. I fold to about 20 inches. I'm very durable. I can do it. Good. No, that'll be good. You'll be on tomorrow then. Can I, can I uh, pick you up? Maybe, maybe we can come and get you in like an hour? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sean, okay, have a good time. Uh-oh. I think we lost him. Well, we lost him. Let's call him the McDonald's, see how they're doing in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then we'll call um, Mark, I guess. Tell him about the callers that we're getting for him. You were calling McDonald's, 41st and Garnet. How can I help you? Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the strawberry milkshakes right now? I'm sorry, do we have what? Do you guys have the eggnog milkshakes? Do we have shakes? Yeah, what kind of shakes you got right now? We have uh, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Oh, you guys don't got the coffee one? You gonna get that soon? Nah, we don't have it yet. Oh, but you got plans on getting it? Do we have what? Plans? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you on this phone. Oh, do you have plans on getting that shake? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll probably get them in. If the other restaurants are serving them, I'm sure we'll probably get them in sometime. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. I actually want to call my local McDonald's to ask me if they have the coffee milkshake because I think I want to go try that. So I'm going to call them and, and ask them about it. So I like coffee milkshakes, and now they have one here. So I'm going to call my local McDonald's here, and if they have them, then you guys can go get them too. It's probably the ones that's close to you. Um, I'm going to call the one right here, the West Side McDonald's, and see if we can get the... Uh, the, if they have the coffee milkshake, if they have it, I'm going to go get it. So you guys can call into the program. The number here is uh, it's, uh, 3 3, it's uh, Ed Zero. Oh, I didn't finish the sign. Ed Zero Land ADA. That's the first part, but then the second part is the number, the less confusing part, I guess. Ed Zero Land ADA. Three three zero. Hey, um, McDonald's. Do you guys have? Hello? Yeah. Do you guys have the coffee milkshakes? What's that? Do you have the coffee milkshakes? Do I know if the coffee's what? Coffee milkshake. Busted. Coffee milkshake. Who is this? No, I I want to know about the coffee milkshake. Can you hang on one second? Y yes. Hello? Hello. Do you guys have the coffee milkshake? Hello? Hello? 
Do you have the coffee milkshake? The coffee milk? I can't. Your phone is cutting out very bad. Coffee milkshake. I can't hear you. Coffee milkshake. Coffee milkshake? Yes. No, we don't have a coffee milkshake. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they don't have it. So I'm, I'm gonna call another one. I don't want to get that. I don't know why they don't have it. About four minutes left on the show. Captain. I'm Jay McDonald. Hey, do you guys have the coffee milkshake? Hello? I want to actually want to know this stuff now. Do you have the coffee milkshake? Hello? I think they hung up. That was a local McDonald's. They hung up. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to find out if they have the McD milkshake. I guess I'm not going to know. Um, I want to try. I want to write down the phone number. I forgot what it was. Um, I can go to, can go to YouTube and check out the phone number, and then uh, call in, or I can uh, then I can, you know, check the thing, the tumble or something. I can. I think it's on three three zero five. I forgot what it was. Wait, I can do this, and then I can find out what the number is. So today we uh, did the interview, we talked to Carson, talked to Ian, Ed, Zero, Wind, ADA, is that right? Yep. So 5363802. 5363802, that's the number. So I'm going to finish writing it down on the sign. And uh, until then we're going to, so like 5536. Five, Five three six three eight zero two. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna um, make it thicker and then we'll be able to you'll be able to see it on TV and then you can call in and you can leave a message like Ian he he called in he left a song message and we'll be able, we'll be able to go back and listen to it next week on the on the internet or he'll he can uh, do that or he can just watch it on TV. So if you want to call in you can say whatever you want you can play a song. You could just uh, say a message. Try to you could try to get me. You could try to joke, play some kind of jokes. Uh, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I don't check the messages until I'm on the show here. So if you were to say something like mean, slanderous, I would just be like, "Oh wow, I can't believe this is happening to me." Uh, and then it would work out that way. And you can do that kind of thing, or you can call in if you have some kind of event or some kind of announcement. But make sure you call in a week in advance because. These episodes don't air until next week. So right now, you guys are next week. So here, I finished the sign. This is the second episode that's ended with the sign finishing because yesterday, uh, Jessica made an episode, but we lost it, I think. You, this is one of those episodes where you can see the sun going down as the episode goes through time because you can see the thing. So there's the number, 360, or I mean 330-536-3802, Ed Zero Lend ADA. So if I put that over here, I think you can read that kind of. No, not really. I should get it bigger, even bigger. So maybe I'll work on that some other time. I gotta go to Kinko's, get get the thing, put sign up back here, and call in. So this is the last minute. It's the big finale of the program. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna close it out here. In the last thirty seconds. Um, what should what should happen in the last the last little bit, right? We don't know. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. We have about a few seconds left. Um, 30 seconds left. What's going to happen on the show? Who? Or what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's got. I don't have any topics. I didn't do any of that stuff. Didn't prepare. How am I going to do a finale? What's going to happen with that? What are we going to do? Call McDonald's. Call McDonald's. Only 20 seconds left. But here we go. Let's call McDonald's in Kentucky. Not a KFC in Kentucky, but a McDonald's. So we'll call. Try to get no more McDonald's call in there. We only have 10 seconds. So, 
five, four. Oh. That's the program. Bye bye. We will wait till the answer. One more McDonald's answer. Your daily hour. Uh,